First step, spread your glass and paper on top of some fabric like an old sheet. It can be any kind of material. In fact, you can just go with only glass and paper as the first layer if you don't have any usable fabric. Use artistic tape to seal the glass and paper layer. This is important, as any other kind might chemically react with your piece and damage it. Make sure to seal as tight as possible, so that the painting doesn't wiggle too much during transportation. Next, wrap your painting into the first bubble wrap layer. Step 2. Now it's time for some box corners and the second bubble wrap layer. Step 3. Measure the size of your wrap piece and cut the padding material accordingly. I just used some cloth. Step 4. Finally, let's get the box ready. I found a used bike box that is the perfect budget version if you don't want to lay out 70 bucks. If your box fits perfectly, you are pretty much done. In my case, I had to add more large bubble wrap to prevent the painting from moving. Here, I'm making new arms for my box, as I had to trim it down to fit the painting. Make a seam with the back of a cutter on the inside of your box. I made the mistake of making the seam on the outside, which made it harder for me to bend the arms. Now, tape all of the seams shut and you're pretty much done. Lastly, add some warning tape some signs, and voila, your painting is ready for shipping.